Yep, I've managed to round up the whole GTN crew for this virtual team time trial this evening on Swift. Now, specifically, the race we're doing is actually the weekly WTRL TTT event, but there's tons of other events out there on Zwift, and I've actually had a ton of fun doing a lot of those events over the years. In fact, I'd actually say that they were a bit of a savior for me during lockdown and actually helped to keep my cycling motivation and fitness up. However, I do appreciate that the term race can seem somewhat intimidating, but this isn't like pinning a number on out in the real world. There's far less pressure. And as I say, it's just a lot of fun. So I thought we could show you what Swift racing is all about, how you can get involved and well, see us suffer, which, well, I know you all like. Do you have to finish with the same number you start with? Okay, look at this. This is literally just a day. Look at all these events. We've got everything from simple community rides, capped at a certain pace, all the way through to all out races and leagues. And obviously with a ton of different distances here, courses and categories. So don't worry, you're not necessarily gonna be put up against or towing the line with elite cyclists. You can ride with similar ability cyclists and also there's women only events. You can literally just click sign up here and now and be registered to an event in seconds and be riding with people all over the world. How cool is that? But anyway, this is the event we're doing tonight. It's the WTRL TTT, as I mentioned already, which is fun. It means that we're gonna be working together as Team GTN. I've done a couple of these before. They're great fun, blooming hard work, but great fun and a real good laugh. However, you can have up to eight riders and some of the teams out there will have eight riders. We only have three. So I've cheekily roped in a little more manpower. I'll introduce them shortly, but firstly, we'd best get ready. What, have you sorted your bike? What bike are you actually on? Ooh, that's a good question actually, because... What do you recommend? Well, normally on the TTTs, you have to use a road bike so you can draft, but they've actually updated Zwift now. Okay. So the, the TT bikes will draft off one another, which makes sense. But how hilly so, is our route? Uh, it's not overly hilly. Okay. Um, so TT bikes are definitely still something to actually just check I have got the TT bike selected. Yes, here we go. Ultimate setup, Kenya Speedmax. You are um, looking fast. Zip 808, yeah. Super 9 disc. That's pretty much the fastest setup. I don't have enough drops for the new Speedmax, eh? Orcs. Yeah, yeah nor so. do I. Just make sure you you've got both. the same. Make sure you've got the same. I think that's going to be a good setup for today. Okay, I think we're more or less set up now. Now to introduce our extra manpower. I've managed to pull in a proper ringer for tonight's race. He's a good friend of ours, Gary Muller from South Africa. He races for the Canyon Esports team and is referred to by the team as their super domestic and occasional tactical guinea pig. Sounds perfect for us tonight. Gary, good to see you, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Long day at work, but I'm looking forward to getting a ride in with you guys. Awesome, right. Um, we've got some newbies in our team, so I'm after some uh, top tips from our elite rider here. Um, tell me about TTTs. Um, is there anything we need to know going into this? There's a load of information you need to go into a team time trial. Um, well, that's if you want to be racing at the top end. Anybody can genuinely hop in and, and get a bunch of mates and, and go for a ride. But if you want to be competitive, uh, usually you've got to do a bit of a course recon check which bike's going to be best uh, for the course that's set up for the week, uh, see what wheels you're going to chuck on, and uh, usually best to do a bit of a recon with your with your uh, teammates too and just get a feel for how, the, how you're going to pull through, how you're going to get back onto the line, what formation's going to work best for you. Okay, so I, I've picked the Kenya Speedmax with a Super 9 disc and the 808 front. Is that okay? Yeah, that's that'll do just fine. Awesome. And what do we do in terms of like pacing, the spacing? Like, are we literally on each other's wheels? Um, well, I think we'll. Who's who's our weakest rider in the team? It's will probably be uh, James, eh? Well, <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh, so obviously we've got yeah James and Heather. Um, I think Heather hasn't been doing a ton of riding lately, so uh, I think she's a little bit nervous right. about tonight. So let's sit. Uh, we'll have to get a feel for what type of max effort she can put out and be able to recover from, um, and then we can we can just rotate turns, kind of. Around, around her max effort and then recover a little bit under that. Generally, you can stay within the five meter, giving yourself a bit more room is a bit better. So stay with, within the five meter draft zone and uh, try not bunch up too much. As soon as you get bunching up too much, you lose focus on who's in the front. 
and it gets a bit messy and you kind of lose formation and lose a bit of speed. Um, that said, if that does happen, whoever ends up on the front, it's best to just keep on pushing through. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, should we go get ready for this? Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, I think I need to get a drink in. It's been a long day at work. I feel a bit dehydrated, but yeah, I need to give it a good crack. Awesome. All right. We'll see you on the start line in a moment. Cool. Let's get going. Go on then, Captain Gary. Give Thanks us some tips. Girls. Uh, what's the plan? James is going to lead us out. We're just going to sit behind him for 30 k so, how long will James sit on the front for then? Uh, 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not sure about that. So, should, like, is the first turn a bit longer just so we all settle in? Is that kind of the idea? Yeah? Okay. I think, James, if you can roll, roll out uh, for about a minute and we'll get organized behind you, we just need to establish an order. Um, okay. I think we go James, Mark, Heather, and then myself. And we can look at what 30 to 45 second pulls on the front. Sounds and good. And then uh, when you get off the when you get off the front, it's just uh, five seconds before um, your your turn ends. The next guy needs to start putting the power down. So say you, you've got five seconds to go, just call out five seconds. The next guy hits the, hits the, the next person hits the power they need to hit. And then as soon as they come past you, you pop the power, zero pedaling, slide back, but then you're going to have to do a little sprint to get back onto the back of the bunch. But then you've got uh, a minute and a half to two minutes to recover again. So it's, it's a pretty good interval session. 30 so seconds to go. Come on, team. Ha hands in, hands in, team. Whoa. I'm pretty nervous. Oh, man. Are you guys on the back? Yeah, I'm coming, coming, coming. <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally yeah. coming through, James. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, you two on the front, he's up to about 2 or 2 kg for a couple of seconds while we get back up. You're right, like I'm not going to last 30k. <laughs> it's uh, once you get on the flat jump, you can find a bit of formation. Mark, get up to about four oh. once the KG. Cool. Oh, yeah. You follow him. Okay. And James, you get on the back. Give it, give each other a bit of room. It doesn't need to be too tight. Okay. There we go. Okay, everybody pick it up to about four, what's up to five here? So we can stay together. Heather, you, you lead it out in the front as, as comfortable as you feel. Don't go too deep and we'll just stay with you. Almost at the top, Heather. Last little push here. In. Let's go. There's a fan, yeah. Keeping me cool. The jack just turned it off now. Hey, we give it a go. <laughs> So yeah, I've uh, got my headphones on now because we've got our very good DS here talking to us, but uh, unfortunately the speakers on my laptop aren't loud enough to uh, drown out the, uh, the fans, the turbo trainers, etc. So I'm uh, listening to Gary and passing the info on to Heather. Is that working, Heather? Is it working? Well, it's not a question of my legs working, the answer's no to that. <laughs> yeah, just stay on my wheel, Heather. Okay, now just stay on Gary's wheel when he comes through. Good job. There we go, it's going up again. So keep pushing on. That's it.
Yeah, they're smashing it now. Yeah, yeah. It all. <laughs> she goes. So this nice, strung out team time trap formation hasn't worked out too well, has it? <laughs> uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice group ride. <laughs> So we're going to drop down over the little bridge shortly and we'll just uh, push on as we kick up the other side. Okay, just speed through onto the descent. Just speed down here. Okay, and then hold push it. up the little kick on the other side. Power on, power on. Come on, Heather. Get on. That's it. Oh, the James and Heather. Okay, I'll come help you now. Just need to win our race first. Is that onto the front on the let's just see how we fall in line and try to take on this side. Is uh, Daddy riding this bike, yeah? But he's at the at the back. <laughs> From at the back? We got three and a half k to go. Let's uh, let's go. Some big efforts until we finish, here, guys. You guys ready for three minutes of some solid good efforts? Let's wrap it up to four watts a kg, every, everybody. Four watts a kg. Four watts a kg. Yeah. Go, Heather. Go, 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 go. Okay. Go, 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 go. It's like I think that's me, and you guys still get past. Oh, well, done. <laughs> well done, guys. That's uh, team time trial done and dusted. We don't know quite where we finished as a team yet, but I think we did a good job. And nonetheless, it was a very good workout, I'm sure Heather would agree. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think there's room for improvement on the team aspect, from my part, not from me. I mean, you guys are doing a good job of trying to keep us all together, but it's much harder. Obviously, the physical aspect of riding is hard, but the actual, like, mental aspect and the concentration involved is much harder than expected. Yeah, I mean, definitely with a team time trial format, it's a whole, throws a whole different dynamic in. You're trying to make sure you stay in your position in the team. But there is a little bit of learning with Zwift. Uh, whilst it's very realistic, you do sort of have to feel it and kind of know when to put the power down, when not to, so that you don't suddenly start overtaking riders. But I thought you did a really good job. It was really good fun to ride all together. Um, yeah, see how we get on. Alrighty then, hopefully uh, I haven't scared Heather off too much with that effort, but in all seriousness, now the pain subsides. She's actually already talking about the next event. Zwift racing does that to you, it's pretty addictive. But now, I know results don't really matter, we're having a bit of fun, but I'm sure some of you are wondering because you're competitive like that. We finished uh, 267th out of 440 and 141st in our category, so definitely some room for improvement. Uh, but as you saw, we had a great laugh doing this, and as we also saw, James and Gary were literally able to look after their kids right up until the race start and during, as it seems, which probably isn't advised. Now, I do recommend taking a look at some of the events available on Zwift. Personally, I really like to use the Zwift Companion app on your mobile phone. Just load that app up, switch to the Events tab, scroll through those events. As I mentioned before, there are tons available 
daily. In fact, it's even running duathlon events and also actually the new ZRL or Zwift Racing League has just started. So you might even be able to get involved in that. We'll obviously drop a load of those links in the description down below so you can explore that in your own time. And you may even find yourself racing in the next eSports World Championships. Fancy that? It's not the first time that a relative newbie has actually managed to do that. So, yeah, anything's possible. Qualifying starts really soon for that. So, thanks ever so much for tuning in today and, well, hopefully supporting us racing. If you've enjoyed today's video and you want to get stuck into some racing yourself, please do give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe.